Well, I barely got the first Mega SD video out the door and here we are again with a firmware update. This is almost poetic for me because the firmware update for the Mega SD ties two things I've really enjoyed this summer together. Virtual racing and of course the Mega SD. With the current firmware on the Mega SD, which is version 11R12, we are unable to play the Genesis version of Virtua Racing. This is due to the special Sega Virtua Processor Chip, or SVP, that was needed in the original cartridge. If we try and run Virtua Racing on current firmware, the game will attempt to load and then simply hang the system. Thankfully, the latest firmware update for the Mega SD addresses this and includes support for virtual racing as well as a number of other fixes for various games. In order to get the updated firmware, you'll need to visit Terra Onion's website and register an account if you don't already have one. You'll also need to enter your Mega SD serial number at this time, which can be found on the back of the cartridge and is visible through the translucent shell. Once registered, you'll want to hit the support section of the site and head to the downloads area. You'll be prompted to sign in with your username and password, and from there, you'll be taken to the list of products that you own, which should include the Mega SD. Click the green downloads button, and that will take you to all of the available digital files available for the Mega SD, including the manuals and firmware update. Go ahead and grab the latest firmware by clicking download once again. Now we are going to pop out our micro SD from the mega SD cartridge and then simply extract the file we downloaded to the root of our micro SD card. Once done, pop that micro SD card back inside your mega SD cartridge. Go ahead and power up your console and the mega SD is going to prompt you that an update is available. You'll see here that it's noting at the top, we are going to upgrade from our existing 11R12 firmware to the new 12R4 that we just extracted to the card. Go ahead and press the A button to update and you'll be taken to a status screen with progress bars. The whole process is going to take probably 60 to 90 seconds during which time your Mega SD carts light will flash green. When finished, the system will reboot itself and you should be good to go. You can check your version in the options and see that you should now be on 12R4. Now we can go back and retry Virtua Racing and it should boot up as though it were the original card. It does, and now we have a complete Sega Genesis library functioning on the Mega SD card. Granted, the 32X and Saturn versions of this game are definitely improvements, but from a completionist standpoint, this is still really nice to have. I'd also argue that it's a bit of a technical marvel for the time and it's worth checking out even for Sega history's sake. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for checking out another Mega SD video. No couch rolling today for this one, but I hope that you still found this valuable. Go ahead and ask any questions you might have in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time. Later, guys.